That's when I went to the doctor. So I was like, obviously I'm dying. Like obviously I'm on my you're, Yeah, you're dying. You looked up at Web, WebMD and yeah. it was like, oh. Spreading and red dying. bite dying. Death. Yes, death. It Impending death. doom. Let's go home. Getting your daily vitamins is extremely important, and that's why we love how easy Ritual makes it with their Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin. I've been taking the multivitamin for like two, two and a half months now, and I can already tell the difference in my body. It's like one of those vitamins too that don't mess up my stomach because I got a sensey stomach, and I feel like it's pretty common for me, but this has been so good. Right now, Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash WT9 and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off ritual.com slash WT9. Welcome back to Wild Till 9. I'm your host, Boyfriend. <laughs> and with me today, I have a very special guest. Audio listeners, you're in for a treat. Her name is... Lauren Riamaki. Oh, I thought there was a joke coming there. I thought I, I, I was disappointed by my own name is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, uh, top 1% wiki feet score and, and ranking champion, yeah. Lord DIY. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. You're Thank welcome. Thank you so much. That You're welcome. Fun. What's up Tillies? Welcome back to the pod. What's up Tillards? Tillingtons? Tillards. <laughs> Tillards? What is this, a department store in the South? <laughs> at Tillards, the yeah. knockoff Dillards? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Well, so I won't, I won't say that again. We'll retire that one Listen, right here. I, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying it was- we, It was not a good idea. You, did it sound better in your head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah. back. What's so, going on? Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> good evening. So, uh, we're getting on a plane in 36 hours. What was yep. our, oh, you just got back from New York. I was like, when was the last time I was on a plane? A little bit ago, but yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, it's been- We're travelers again. This is a 6 a.m. flight. Are you gonna go to sleep? You probably won't even sleep, right? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hard to say. Six, we'll leave at like four. I like flying out early. Oh, me too. I like to just get it out of the way. There's nothing yeah. worse than like, like sitting. A, like a 5 p.m. flight. Oh, that's the worst. I hate waiting to wait, to wait. Wait, to wait, to wait? Yeah. Oh my God, I just lost an eyelash. Oh my God. Ah, ah, eyelash surgery is happening right now. Oh my God, oh my God. So I don't see my lash girl for another week and a half. So I can't lose any soldiers right now. Oh my God, that and, was almost a critical. And real quick, we call eye eyelashes soldiers around here. Yeah, man down. I was like, I thought I had a man down. Anyway, hi, <laughs> welcome back. Yeah, no, we're um, you're about to hang out with Donna for the first time in two years. I'm about to hang out with Donna for the first say, time yeah, in two what years. You, Donna and I have definitely talked more than you and Donna have over Without the last two question. years. Without question. Yeah. Without question. Hundred percent. Yeah. Boys leave. We leave. We don't. We don't come That's back. So we don't sad. write. We don't text. We That's just leave. so sad. What do you mean? That's so sad. What? I don't know. Like if we have a boy, he's I- He's leaving. No. He's gonna leave. No. He's gonna leave. No. He's gonna spend more time Ugh. away from us than he will with us. That is so sad. I don't even wanna think about that. I don't make the rules. Um. So 6 a.m. flight, I, I love an early flight. I find that I get anxious throughout the day waiting for the flight, like the waiting to wait. Right. I like start, I start getting anxious, like more and more anxious leading up to when I have to leave to the flight where it's like, if you wake up so early, you're basically incoherent. There's no time for anxiety. Like you just get up, you're late and then you're tired, you're half asleep and you put yourself in an Uber and then you're basically on the plane. I think traveling with someone is possibly the best indicator for like whether you're actually getting along or not in general. Okay, yes, but I also know relationships where traveling with their partner made everything seem like a different reality. And right. so they were so lovey and so good. And it was like a bandaid on everything. When they would travel, mm. they come back to real life and it was just like shit would hit the fan as per usual. I think we're more likely to get in a fight on the road than we are at home. You think? I We don't really argue that much. Yeah, I guess. I guess it would depend what the dynamic of the trip was. Right. Yeah. Right. It would depend, I think. Actually, have you ever really gotten in an argument on while traveling? Mm, I can think of one. Yeah, but like that's pretty that's a pretty good track record for three years. It's a pretty good track record. Yeah. Yeah, I'll it's take a pretty that. good track record. I'll it's, take it's, that. it's not bad. It's not bad. I yeah. I don't I don't hate that I can only think of one. Well, I mean we travel very differently. That's yeah, for sure. for sure, for sure. I feel like most couples probably do though. Travel differently? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm an Airbnb kind of bitch. You're a hotel kind of guy. Well, I'm also like not someone who needs to have every moment like planned out before I get there. Yeah. And you've, you wanted to look through the entire menu of excursions, <laughs> options, the literal menu, well, how to I, get there, get, how to get back. I get FOMO, like, so for Chicago, for example, again, this is gonna come out after we've already been to Chicago, we're leaving in a couple of days. But 
I get FOMO, especially when we're there for only one day and one night, basically, right. of like all the things that we could be doing. And like, what if we didn't do enough, like looking into other things, we do something kind of like, not shitty, but like, we're like, oh shit, like we could have been doing that. It's gonna be great regardless. And I know that we're gonna have a best time because babe, going anywhere with you is the best Okay, um, But like, <laughs> my thing is when I get there, what happens if like you're, I, why would I go and put all these plans and ideas and thoughts mm -hmm. and all this stuff into it? Like if we get there and like, for whatever reason, like you don't feel well or you're tired mm -hmm. or I something mm -hmm. pops up and I have to do it. I have some just like, I'd rather have the world as my oyster. And this is like a very specific thing that we're going there for like to get like a reservation for. Right. I'd rather, get there and figure it out. Assuming that I even know at least one or two people in that city, then mm -hmm. like have mm -hmm. all these like grandiose plans that may or may not actually ever happen. Okay, so my ideal is like, I would like to have a dinner reservation. Cause uh -huh. I feel like, I feel like that actually makes sense to be like, okay, like where do we want to go? So that we're not like a waiting an hour and a half because it's going to be like, I think pretty busy in Chicago, like pre oh, It's going to be Tuesday, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But regardless, I'd like to have a dinner reservation. Uh -huh. And then I would like to have an idea of things that we might like to do. And mm -hmm. then when we get there, we can decide what we want to do. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Got it. cause also sometimes the world is your oyster. I get like decision paralysis. Yeah, no, you have to have like a, a focal point. I, I gotta bring you back to- a, a, Right, I like, a, yeah. I like a focal point yeah. and I like a few options. Uh -huh. They don't have to be booked because I, I get like sometimes literally stressed out at like the thought of like having things pre-booked. Like it gives me uh -huh. anxiety to have things booked as well too. Right, well, you know that I hate, there's nothing I hate more than, than when people plan my travel for me because yeah. there's a 147% chance they mess something up. Right. And then I have two choices, be mad at that individual mm -hmm. for like doing something you mm -hmm. know, for me or doing it myself. And I'd rather just do it myself 100% of the time. Except for this trip that you booked, we are not sitting next to each other. Right. Crazy how that happened. I'm kidding, of course I wanted to sit next to you. And you booked me a window. I don't actually think that's true. So I'll have to look into that. Well, I'm sitting in the window, I checked my app. But yeah, but like, am I sitting in a window? Yeah, you're, we're both sitting in a window behind each other. That's my worst nightmare. Oh. Sucks. <laughs> it's not my worst nightmare, but that's, that's <laughs> definitely not my ideal. I'm an, I'm an aisle bitch till I die because I pee a lot on- You do um, pee a lot. I pee a lot on flights. I pee a lot just in general, but I pee a lot on flights and I get so is nervous. Is it like business class where there's just one or is there two? We're just sitting by some randoms. Two and two. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's like a small business class trip. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah I think it's like uh, four on each. So like Come on, 16 total. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> I'm sure it's actually, it's not a bigger plane. Cause like Chicago right now and like busy travel it, season. The next day I'm sure it would be bigger. Oh yeah, yeah. true to John Wednesday. Yeah. Um, but, and then I'm nervous because like a lot of times people choose the aisle like on purpose, like someone like me. And so if someone was like, hey, do you want to switch with me? I have a window. Like to me, that's not appealing. Mm -hmm. We actually had that one time happen where I, I asked- Oh my God, Lauren, yeah. Oh my God, there was, I was in a, where, where were you sitting? Was it window to window or window to aisle? I can't remember what the swap was. Anyways, I asked the guy next to me if he'd be willing to switch it with you so that I could sit next to you. Yep. And he said, no, like no reason, just said no. I think it was the same seat. Like I think it was an right. aisle to an aisle. Like I don't think it was anything like, like it, that right. it would be putting him out of you know convenience. And he said like, no, pretty abrupt, abruptly, maybe because like he had already taken his book out or something. And I was like, okay. And then I think that he saw that I looked so sad and defeated. Let me walk you through it. So, you know, <laughs> You know, in those places um, that there's um, a glass storefront and they're, they're, they're showing you the puppies that are available for adoption. I want to cry just literally hearing this story. That was Lauren's face. Just. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he goes, it's going to be a long flight. Would you like to trade? <laughs> He didn't say that, but he basically said that. I think he that. felt that way. He was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he definitely felt that way. Well, because you were just staring at my, in my direction, just yeah, with like just this like, lost eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and then here we go. Yeah. And so maybe I'll pull that again tomorrow. I think we'll be fine. I have a feeling gonna, that we're gonna I'm figure gonna it out. I'm gonna pull that tomorrow. I have a we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Cause like four and a half hours is late at Chicago. Yeah. That's, that's, that could be three P's. I could be, for you? It could be three P's. That could be five to six P's. Fortunately, you don't drink any water when we travel, so. Yeah, I know. And I still end up peeing like once an Traveling hour. Traveling with Lauren is the slowest. You're, you're the slowest traveler I've ever slow, like, traveled with, for sure. Yeah. Like without question. Yeah. You are so. Just be thankful that I move uh, at not Tiff pace. Tiff is one of the slowest individuals that I've ever met in my life. But she does everything slowly. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know that it, it's not a choice that she's making. Her body just runs slowly. So like she eats slow, she does makeup slow. She does nails slow. You know what I mean? Like she just does everything consistently slow. Tiff is on my list right now, along with about 90 other people. Who are slow? No, who are, who are in the last two or three days have been like, why didn't you tell me oh. that 
you guys were gonna do this crypto.com arena thing because right. then I, I would have bought a bunch of the token the day before. And I'm like, here, say so it again. We have I go, we, say it one more say it one more time outside and and and, and tell me if you think when you hear it. And I'm like, it doesn't hit. I'm like, okay, so this thing called insider trading. Okay, so I can't just go, hey buddy, it'd be a great time to fucking pick right. this up right now. <laughs> I, the amount of people that like have looked me dead in the eye and been like, why didn't you let me know beforehand so that I could have bought a bunch? That is called insider trading, sir. That is called that is called white collar crime. Yeah, that is called white collar like, crime. That's called me in a jail cell with someone with else. Martha Stewart. <gasps> yeah, that would be ideal. I was just having this conversation with someone about how Martha Stewart going to jail was like the best thing that her career could have ever seen. I don't know if necessarily she like, was the best. That thing, is but. so hard. Like she's like badass, and now she like does content with like Snoop Dogg. Like it's true. I feel like Martha Stewart, maybe not in the eyes of like the the boomers and stuff that maybe they're not as big Martha Stewart fans anymore. Got it. But yeah. to keep her relevant amongst millennials and Gen Zs, I feel like fuck yeah, Martha. Hard time. Yeah. Hard time. Hell yeah. How do you think you would fare in prison? Oh, not well. Okay. Oh, not well, not Got well. It. I feel dizzy if I don't eat every couple hours. Uh, I I yeah. love a nap. I It would change you. I would I I don't know if I'd make it. I don't know. I, I think you'd make it. I don't know if I would. Okay. Like I don't know if I would come out being like, "Oh, I'm much stronger and tougher now," or if I'd just be in shambles when I come out. I think yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes to both. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Some things I feel like I like, I could craft, I think a pretty good weapon. I'm pretty crafty, you know? And I feel like that you would- You would, yeah, yeah, you would be pretty good. You'd be very resourceful in that, in that department. Oh yeah, I can make, yeah, I can make anything out of anything. I would be really resourceful. Maybe this, maybe this is how I would survive is that if I could be crafty and make shit and like sell that amongst my, my peer you start an inmates, inside. I start the the prison mm -hmm. Etsy, yep. and then you know when like you Pretzi. you're the hookup for stuff, Pretzi. Yep. We start Pretzi, and then you know when like you're the hookup for stuff, you get then plug. like get protection. Right. You get free snacks. Like people will, you get haircuts. Like you get to trade all the things. Yeah. Um, the real barter system there for DIY. It's a real yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I think I think with a few with a few seminars by you on sales for me with Pretzi. I think that I would do just fine. I think you'd do great. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. Great. I don't think we should necessarily try it, but yeah, I think you'd do great. Yeah, no, no. Until I establish myself as like the pretzy girl, mm -hmm. I would not be doing well. Right. And then I think that I would, you know, uh, project myself into success. We're back with one of our absolute favorite sponsors, BetterHelp. You know, Lauren and I are very big supporters of prioritizing mental health and BetterHelp is here to help you with it. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with one of your own licensed professional therapists, allowing you to connect in a safe and private online environment. Throughout my journey with anxiety, BetterHelp has been a huge asset. Being able to get the help from my own home has been crucial during this time. At one of my lowest points, I was so much more comfortable doing text-based therapy versus having to get on the phone or go in person. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. You can send a message to your counselor at any time and receive timely and thoughtful responses. They also provide the option to schedule weekly video or phone sessions. We know sometimes getting help can be out of your budget and better help is here because it is less expensive than the other services and they also offer financial aid. The service is offered worldwide and it is convenient, affordable, and professional. Anything you share with your counselor is confidential. Find the particular expertise you need online and don't limit yourself to the counselors in your area by signing up for better help. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. If you have ever wanted to make your home feel safer, there is no better time than now. We love Simply Safe because it has everything you need to make your home safe. Indoor and outdoor cameras, comprehensive sensors, all monitored around the clock by trained professionals who will send help the instant you need it. Our friends at Simply Safe are giving Wild Till 9 listeners a fantastic deal of 50% off their award-winning home security. Having cameras set up around the house has made it so I can comfortably chill at home without Jeremy being here. Not that I feel like, like I don't even know what you would do if something would happen. Scream, I, like, run away, throw yeah, you in front exactly. of me. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, use, I actually don't know. Use a human know. shield. Right, literally. Yeah. Um, and me and Moose would hide behind you, of course. Right, exactly. So, I, I mean, I say that I feel safer with Jeremy being here, but like, I, I feel like it's you just, just like a out. power in numbers you just kind of hang thing. hang out, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do, I do love having cameras that we can check every hour, every 20 minutes, every two minutes. Mm -hmm. Simply safe was named the best home security system of 2021 by US News and World Report. And with the discounts that we're giving you, you can get a complete home security system starting at just over $100. Feel safe without breaking the bank. Take advantage of Simply Safe sale and get 50% off your new home security system by visits by visiting simplysafe.com slash wild. Again, that's simplysafe.com slash wild for 50% off your entire system. Are you excited or nervous for travel? 
Um, I feel fine about travel. Okay. My therapist is doing a great job. My psychiatrist also doing a great job. Tailored meds. They're, we're ready to go. They're doing great. Yeah. With your travel. Yeah. Anything in particular that you're you're working up for this one? No. No. no okay. No. Got yeah, it. Yeah. We we travel with a little bit of Xanax and uh, it's the nine one one nine one one medication. You want to pull yourself out of it. And uh, yeah, when you want to hit the eject button, and uh, and, then I, and then I'm just there with your body. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> she's she's this fine. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, I will say traveling to um like even though <clears throat> Toronto's not that much farther as yeah. far as like distance, it feels a lot closer going from here to Chicago and back than it is from here to Canada and back. Just like getting in. Uh, oh my god! All yeah, the shit. immigration part yeah. of it is the the worst. Yeah. Um, and so we have we have Christmas plans this year. I'm repping. You re- you are. I'm repping. You are. I'm repping. Give the audio. Give the audio listeners uh, oh, you're the visual cue. A, is this a, is this vintage? It's vintage. Yeah, it looks like a vintage Lakers sweater. It is a vintage yeah. Lakers sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's cute. I got it at a thrift store. I ordered a uh, full closet of Lakers and Kings things the other day. What did you What did you order? Give us Give us the haul. I don't remember, but I ordered. Um, you know that excessive thing I do when I just start ordering things. Oh my god, yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm about insane. No, no. But- I, I, Jeremy, I am the consumer of all consumers. Yeah. I am here to support your consumption. Yeah, well, I consumed. I so. got a I got a trucker hat. I got a hoodie. I got two oversized tees, one in a long sleeve and one in a short sleeve. I got some sweatpants and I got some socks. I'm excited. Yeah, me it's too. Gonna be great. There was a really, really cute jacket that I was gonna get, but it was kind of expensive. And like, we haven't even been to a game yet. So I was like, I, you know what? I should, I already have a few things in my closet just cause like- I could probably ask him too. Right, for some things. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first year that we're doing something, or personally that I'm doing something that is not very Christmassy on Christmas. Yeah, no, going to a game will not be Christmassy, but it'll be fun. I mean, I have no idea who else is gonna come from like- Work. And, yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's just me. There, there honestly might be other people in our life too that don't do Christmas things. Yeah. Like I know Mia is thinking about going to Thailand because she doesn't really do Christmas stuff. Really? Yeah, her um, and her boyfriend. Wow, that'd be fun. So, anyway, so if they're not going to Thailand, they should <laughs> come to the Lakers game with us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I have no idea how, it, you know, I've never done this before. Right. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Right, and I, then we're gonna make sure that you don't have the crypto.com logo on you for that day because people are not gonna be happy. I think there's gonna be a few people that will chirp at it for uh, sure. Uh, but like, you know, it's gonna be fine. Time. It's gonna be fine. I, like I said, I'm still calling up the Sears Tower. So I get it. Yeah, totally. I get it. We just now have better tickets. <laughs> I think there's a couple things actually. Okay, so yeah, there's some other there's some other benefits yeah. for sure. Some other some other you know, like changes. A, like general four to five billion dollar increase in right. market value. But right. yeah, besides right, that, right, too. right, right, right. Yeah. But we got some good tickets. That too. Maybe they give us like a snack coupon. Yeah, I get, no, yeah, that's that that we do get the snack coupon. No snack coupon. No, there it it's a big coupon, yeah. It's a big coupon. It's a big coupon. I love a snack coupon. Yeah, I'll see if I can get it printed <laughs> out for you. That's so exciting. Yeah. yeah. So then we're gonna do Christmas Day at the Crypto.com Arena. That'll be fun. Which is gonna be wild. That'll if be you fun. didn't listen to last week's pod, you can get all the tea on the Crypto.com Arena deal that Jeremy did. Yep. Um, I'm gonna be real sick of hearing that and it screamed at me every time I walk into a door with my friends for the next yeah. like six months. Yeah. I can already tell I'm like, that's gonna be I'm, mm-hmm. that's gonna be tiring. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. And then on the 26th on Boxing Day for my huh? Canadians and my my UK listeners, a Boxing Day on the 26th, we're gonna fly back to Toronto. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. That is the plan. And then we'll do, I think, Christmas with my family on the 27th. Sure. And then um, talk to Gail. Gail's in the loop. She's ready. She's, She's planning. Down. Yep. She's excited. Turkey's coming out on the 27th. Is she 27th. mad that we're not gonna be there the 25th? No, I mean- She understands. Yeah, yeah, They've uh, My family's always been pretty flexible in like the sense that Christmas can be whenever Christmas needs to be. Right. Um, and she was like, just like, oh, okay, maybe we'll do our anniversary dinner on the 26th then when you guys get in. And I was like, or you could have your anniversary dinner on your anniversary on the 24th. Like, she I'm wants not to do gonna, everything with us. I'm not gonna say no to steak and lobster and champagne if like you're trying to do it with us because I'm absolutely happy to be invited. But also if you wanna just have your anniversary dinner on the 24th with Were dad. They married on the 24th? On the 24th, yeah. Very interesting they'd be married. It, it's, it, they, it was probably the most convenient day. It like, it wasn't like a, oh, this cause this is romantic. It was at a convenience because that's just right. who my parents are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, efficient. Yeah, efficient, yeah. efficient, convenient. Um, Everyone was free. I don't I don't think we'll be getting married on the 24th of December. No, no, no. no. Oh, we got invited to the most beautiful. I already know it's gonna be the most stunning wedding that we would have ever been to. But. 
It was like on the 20th, I think of December, which I know that people strategically do because I think it helps, you know, like Travel, separate out. People already there. Yeah, they're already stuff. there. Yeah. And like, it's like, if you invite a hundred people, but you really only want like maybe 80 to come, you're like, okay, who loves me enough that like this will be, they'll inconvenience themselves to like come to my wedding. So I get that because it's, it's far, it's also in Canada. And so without knowing what like the crypto.com arena deal was gonna be, we like couldn't RSVP in time to figure out like if we could go. And I'm glad we didn't because we, we could not have gone. We could not have gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nightmare. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we didn't RSVP, but I'm not glad that we didn't RSVP because it is going to be the most stunning wedding. So it's it's the set designer from Craftopia who is also a judge. And like, when I tell you this man has lighting designers doing a portion of his wedding, like, are you fucking kidding me? People have like florists and like, that's normal. And right. they have like wedding planners to like- No, you no, know, no, he's yeah. got lighting designers. He's got lighting designers. Yeah. So you cannot even imagine how stunning. And it's uh, in Banff, Alberta, which is like, one of the most beautiful it, places I mean, you in Canada. Gun to my head. Where's Banff? Couldn't tell you. In the middle. Got it. In the middle. middle. Yeah. Got middle. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is and it Manitoba? It's not Manitoba. Alberta? Banff. No. Wait. Banff. You know, no, no, it is. It is. It is. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I always get Banff mixed up with uh, uh, Banff. Badass motherfucker. Yes. That is what Banff stands yes. for. Banff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. In Alberta. Yeah. 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 That's it, right. Let me try it again. It's in Alberta. <laughs> Say yes. Honestly, that's what I, I sort of. I feel like we've got like travel. Um, is Banff, where's Banff? It's in the middle, you just told me. No, I know, but I was like, is it near a, oh no, it's definitely not. Oh, wait, hang on, I can't read this fucking map. Oh, it is kind of close to BC. That's why I was like, is Banff? Yeah, okay, Banff is, is Alberta, super Alberta. So that's a wedding that we're not going to. We haven't been to a wedding in like two years. There haven't been many weddings that have been going I know, on. For two I know, years. but there's been so many that are now because everyone's like catching up. So I'm sure we'll go to lots next year. Um, yeah. And I'm so excited. I love weddings. They're very inconvenient. I know they're so inconvenient, but they're so fun. We've yeah. never been to like a proper wedding together either. Well, I feel like we're going to like a couple of the ones are in Kentucky. We'll probably go to some ones uh -huh. in Illinois, maybe some Canada, all over the place. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Or it'll be a nightmare. One or, two. Yeah, more than a nightmare. Yeah. Hopefully that they're, I, I just hope that my friends and your friends, do that thing where they try and do it around something that's fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times like, oh, we're doing it on this weekend because everyone will be in town for right, it. Right, cause you're yeah. already kind of here for that it. That would be great. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. if I know my friends, they'll pick the most inconvenient day and um, that'll be okay. That'll just right. be what we deal with. Right, We got a soft invitation to go to Dubai in we March. We did. <laughs> we did. There's some, like definitely some stipulations that would go into that, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to go to, go to Dubai so bad. I want to go to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. I don't know as much about Abu Dhabi. Um, older. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, okay. Like Dubai is like brand new. Yeah, Dubai is like brand new. And so yeah. the guy that we were talking to was saying how he lived in, he's from Israel, yep. lived in Singapore. And then um, Dubai basically like paid him to move to Dubai and like do cool things in Dubai and make content about it. Can you imagine if the United States was like, hey, we'll pay to come here. Heck, come on. Yeah. Come on hang. Oh hey, my God. Oh, you make content? Come on we over. We love that. We love yeah, that. Come on over. Me submitting my 200 page application to come make content in the US. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally, uh, can you actually show us a little more proof you that can do you two do, years. do that? Two years and then do yeah. it again, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I, um, so Dubai's like definitely high on the list, but I still want to get to like to Tokyo. Oh my God. So that was the trip that we were supposed to do literally the month that COVID started. Yep. So it would have been end of March, early April that we were supposed to go to the Cherry Blossom Festival. And because like, it's I not- I just wanna go to a robot cafe. I don't know if you're gonna love the robot cafe. Fine, I wanna, I wanna <laughs> know that I don't like the robot yeah, cafe. Yeah, 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 it's a lot, it's yeah. a lot. It's, I, I enjoyed the robot cafe for sure. I wanna go to it. I just know how like over stimulated you can be sometimes with like loud and sounds and color and like light. You sound like you're like, I made you sound like a 90 year old yeah, man. You, you really just summed it up there. <laughs> like how many times have I complained about it? It's too loud in here. Like literally the, yesterday. Yeah, but that was different. <laughs> literally that yesterday. That was different. I, I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it, but it's a, it's, it's a fun show. I had a good time. Okay. I had a good time. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do a robot cafe. We can go to um, a Shiba cafe. I wanna go to a Husky cafe. So you can watch me sob my eyes out. I do wanna go to a Shiba cafe as well. Oh God, I love Shibas. I love you do. Shibas so much. It was, these are, I know these are very different dogs, but like my two favorite dogs that I was like thinking about getting was a Bull Terrier and a Shiba. Two very different species. <laughs> two very different species. I'm so, glad you were the Bull Terrier. Me too, me It's too. good for us. It, it is good for us. It's good for us, yeah. yeah. Um, and then what else did we have planned? We had uh, I need to go to Hong Kong at some point. Yeah. I don't think you're coming with me for that. No? No, I don't think you're coming with me for that. 
Okay. Yeah, probably not. How far is Hong Kong that far? Far as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I think we were looking at Dubai too. It's like, it's like what, 16, 16 hours. Yeah. yeah, but Dubai is not, I don't think you can go direct to Dubai. You can go direct to, to Hong Kong. Oh, really? Dubai is like, we're going here to the UK. Then, oh my UK God. Oh, down. so far, yeah. so far. Oh yeah. my God. The longest no. flight that I think I did was Australia. probably Australia. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like 14, 15 hours. Yeah, because Tokyo, I think, was only between like 12 to 12. 14 when I went. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. It's shocking that fr- like, flight, like flights haven't really gotten any faster than they were forever ago. Yeah, what the fuck? I know. I want to go at supersonic speed. Well, that, that that's coming. But Those are coming. Where? Where? When? Here to like Tokyo. Uh, yeah. It's the bomb bar. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ones yeah, that break yeah. the fucking sound, sound barrier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, that's like, those are the times where I'm like, I wish that I could just like teleportation. Where is that? Why isn't Elon working on it? I think Elon probably is. Is he working on it? Maybe. Not hard enough. I don't know. Not fast enough. In between tweeting absolute fire at people. And when also t- not he, delivering your car. When, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The next, I'm sure, let's see, December 9th, I'm sure I'll have my Tesla. I'm mm, sure. Yeah. If I'm yeah. gonna buy this year, uh-huh. I'm gonna start looking at other cars for sure. Can you, would you get your deposit? No, right? Yeah. Oh, oh the could? deposit? Yeah. No, I think I'd lose that. You think you'd lose it? Yeah. That's, that's not some very bullshit much. though. It's for them much, to like take 1 billion years to deliver you a car and not give you a deposit back. It's bad customer service. It's not good. You know, the supply chain kind of sucks right now. You know what I do love about the whole like Tesla situation? What do you love? Is that there's no negotiable element to buying that car. That's the only reason I don't like it. I I know, I know. And like, think of that I have you. Cause like, if I want to do, cause I'm thinking about doing a trade in like mm. maybe January, February with my car for the new one. Um, I basically want the exact same car, but just like the new ones has got all these fun sensors and stuff on it. And like thinking about, I guess it's not as stressful because I'll just have you do it. But like my dad used to do all like the negotiating and stuff for the cars, but like thinking about it being able to be cheaper, but just like not knowing how to approach it in the right way is just like so stressful. Yeah, that's what, the only reason I have a job. People get uncomfortable talking about money. Me. I don't. Me. None. Oh my God. Me. None. I just, I just don't even, I don't, I don't even. Like it's one thing, like I feel like if I'm at like a, like a vintage market or a flea market or people love to bargain, but I'm like, these are like independent artists and people that like uh, go looking for specific vintage pieces and they sell them. Like I don't barter with those people. Cause like you hustle, you deserve it. You're an artist. But like when it's the corporation and stuff, fucking stick it to them. I, I know. Stick it to him, Spoo. You're savage over email. You're very, you're very direct over email. Cause who the fuck has time to not be? And here's the thing too, is that I've learned over the years as a woman that like I default am much too nice over email with like, I'm so sorry, but like, do you mind? I'm so sorry. Or like, and I end everything in an exclamation point. And I've l- had to like unlearn how to do all of that to speak very direct. And like, I think that you only say that I'm savage over emails cause I, I email like a dude. You don't, but the thing is your your tone over email does not match your tone over like calls. That's because I'm too nice you're and soft. I get walked you're a, over. You're a baby on calls. I'm a little bitch and I get walked over every single time. You're a baby on calls. I know, so we're Someone on would be email. like, hey, like we're thinking about this and you'd be like. <laughs> I know, but on email, Frozen. I can just Frozen. be direct, say mm-hmm. what I want, hold someone accountable for what they said that they need. Yeah, and- meanwhile on email, I own you, send. Oh, okay. Well, that's what a dude would say. And so I just get on my dude level and I stop ending everything in exclamation points. And I don't end things in smiling faces and hearts and XOs because that's XOs. how you- Yeah. <laughs> I like 3% more XO, 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 XO. enter. Lauren. Send. <laughs> Do you think they would give me 3% off? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You never know. You gotta ask. So maybe Dubai, hopefully Tokyo. I wanna go to Italy again. I wanna go to, I've never been to Italy. I wanna do like Amalfi Coast and Greece. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there like a list of places? There probably is. Like the top. I would like, I'd like to, okay. I'd like to compare my thoughts against the top list of, of, oh, of, of places? desirables. Yes, I, I can't, do you wanna do desirable, but like most common to travel? Sure, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, where do you think the US is gonna be on there? Um, Like what number out of 10? Three. Three? Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so blah, 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 the world's most visited countries. Okay, so in 2019, 1.5 billion tourist arrivals were recorded around the world. Okay. Damn. Okay, here we go. Number 10, the UK. Okay, that's fair. You left London, right? I would live in London. You would live in London? Sure. How many, ta- how many days do you actually spend in London? Mm, a month. Oh, that's actually pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, that's long enough to be like, oh, I could live here. I mean, I've been there three times. For a month total? Yeah. Or like a month each time? No, like I've been there like a week. Oh. A week and a half, two weeks, a mm. couple of weeks. I've been there for like a week or two, okay. a few times. I, I really think that you need like a month in a place to kind of decide. Yeah. I think you also need two seasons. 
I agree. Totally yeah. agree. Totally yeah. agree. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't love London, but I would. I would do it again. Also, like I. I am a very different vacationer than my parents, and like they. My parents had us. Had me. Had me. Like I would. I would be like a block and a half behind them walking because like my mom's a marathon runner, and my dad's a mailman who can walk ten miles a day. Like and see, I Uber everywhere. I'm exhausted. Like I, I, I cannot car. keep up with them. No, I just happen to car. And so we'd be like on a double decker bus, and I'd be asleep because I'm just dying and I can't keep up. So. I I loved that London. You also trip. need like buy daily naps. Yes, yes, to all right. of that, Which especially with time change. Not and stuff. a normal thing. No, 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 no. So, anyways, I would like to do London again now that I'm older too and see how it goes. Okay, all right. yeah. Well, we'll put London back on the list then. You know what was very confusing about London was the. <laughs> this is going to sound so ridiculous and touristy, but I I had such an issue with the money there. The coins were all very confusing. Just used a card. Uh, yeah. I don't know why we had cash. Why do we have so much cash when I was That's such a time? parent's thing to do. Have they'll, cash? They'll, they'll exchange at the airport and yes. they'll go with cash ready to go. Well, no, no. I think we would exchange beforehand because the exchange rate was better. Fine. At but the like, bank. meanwhile, just go and have a card that you can do internationally <laughs> and you won't have that problem at all. <sighs> okay. So the UK in 2019, which makes sense because 2020 was a crapshoot. Yep. Um, 36 million tourists to its towns and cities. Okay. What else you got? Um, number nine, Thailand. Oh, that makes sense. We just talked about I've Mia. I've been to Thailand. Thailand's a good time. That's where I, I saw ping pong. That's where you saw ping pong. Ping pong. Do you yep. want to elaborate? Um, Give us it like in like 10 words. Women smoking cigarettes out of their vaginas, cheap booze. And what about the ping pongs? You didn't say anything about ping pongs. I don't actually remember any ping pongs. Didn't the ping pong come out of the cooch? Oh yeah, they're like shooting ping pong I, balls. For yeah. some reason was just having this conversation about that place. Um, no comment on women smoking vagina, or women smoking cigarettes out of their vaginas. No comment there. No, I was actually going off of that. Oh God. Yeah, okay. No, no, we're still in the same say, topic. There's yeah. just no response to that. <laughs> well, so there's it. a place in New York called the box. Where is, where no, else is a place is in London called the box. But they have New York, in New York is number two. Got yeah. it, got it, got it. But it's the same franchise but basically, right? Yeah, but it's not. London I, is I, way yeah, more. I understand, I understand. Wherever New York is, but London like, is. Whew. The owners of London were like, let's do this somewhere else. Let's take this show on the road. They were let's make franchise, yeah. Yes, yes, What's another right. city that's just as weird and just as rich? New York. New York, Go. right, right, right. I'm actually surprised that New York isn't the weirder one. No, Europe. I guess, yeah, yeah, Europe, yeah. But London to me just seems so like proper and like prim, you know what I mean? Well, so London like, is proper in the right places. And then right. like, and you then know. you go down to the box. Right, exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just wait, wait, there's, there's no wrong with the, the, the box is like, not like, easy to get into. It's very actually quite a, like, there's a lot of like prestige that goes into the whole thing, right. it, but it's, it's, well, it's out So there. I feel like you need to give a better description of what the box is now that we've like said it so many times. I don't even know how to begin with the boxes. It's like a sex show kind of um, entertainment. I would call it like- uh, Nude. Like the, the Midwest would call it like shock value entertainment. Meanwhile, yeah. like uh, culture would call it like, oh, it's the like amalgamation of just like all of the different like, talents and thoughts and, and art and culture that go into a, what is like burlesque performance on steroids. Yes, that's a great way to say it. Yeah. So, and for whatever reason, I feel like it's it's just common knowledge that like at the box, vaginas can inhale and exhale basically, Yeah. which does not make any sense in my brain. So like they could inhale and exhale from a cigarette yeah. and a ping pong ball you, that you could shoot it with your cooch across the room. Yep. Um, you can uh, hold things in there. Yeah. Hold really heavy things in there. You could do a lot of things in the box. Yeah. Do a lot of things in the box. And like, it makes sense. Cause I've seen on like Buzzfeed where they do videos of like strengthening like your Kegel muscles or whatever. Mm. But like this, I just don't understand how you could like, you could puff a cigarette with your cooch. It doesn't make any sense to me. As someone who does not have Said the cooch. materials, mm -hmm. the resources, the equipment, the equipment, mm -hmm. I, um, I agree. Very confusing. Yeah. All right, three main things that I need from hair care. One, heat protection. Two, moisture. And three, a, a good smell, not a bad smell, a good smell that lingers every time I walk past you. Check. That might've felt a little dramatic, but I feel like I feel like it makes a difference. It's like, I don't really wear like perfume and like essences you like don't. that. You and I like, I like the scent of me to just be like <laughs> good hair. <laughs> Just all of my things just, just smell like Lauren's hair. Yes. Way's new leave-in conditioner delivers all three of those and more. With winter approaching, I am trying to fight the dry and frizzy nature my hair seems to adapt to in the cold. And this leave-in conditioner has become a huge lifesaver. Way's leave-in conditioner provides protection from heat, dryness, and the frizz. It's a perfect addition to your hair care routine in the winter. And I can definitely say that every time Lauren uses it for her hair, it pretty smells, smells pretty good. It's in with North... Bondi, 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 what do we think? 
It's scented, scented with, with North. north um, um, some spell B O N D I. It's hard to say. Anyway, a floral fragrance with the notes of bergamot, violet, and white musk. It's color safe and cruelty free, which we love to see. And it helps protect hair from up to 450 degrees of heat, which is crucial with how often I tend to style my hair during the holidays. Discover a new way of life with- uh, Sorry, <laughs> go ahead, my bad. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Discover a new way of life with cruelty, sulfate and paraben free hair care, body and fragrance products from Way. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com and use code WILD to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's 15% off your entire order at T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash WILD. Our next sponsor is one of my absolute favorites simply because they make traveling way less stressful. It's a way. 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 A way thoughtfully designed suitcases, bags, and other travel things, you know, that you just need. And they're just in, you know, great colors. They're in different shapes, sizes. They have locks that work. That's huge. 360 degree spinners, which is great because you don't just drop it in the middle of the airport and make a big old noise at three in the morning, make everyone look at you. <laughs> but that's not a personal story. Maybe it is. And these modern materials. Compression pads also are really, really handy that you can like pack more stuff in there. Lauren probably could maybe use a few less of them. And the most important thing as well, laundry rags to keep things tidy. We just got back from Chicago for Thanksgiving and packing was a breeze because of my away suitcase. I swear the compression pads, they seriously help me pack like at least three more sweaters. And you guys know that I am a, I love, I love a good overpacking moment. Yep. <laughs> away travel items make such a great gift for the holidays. With travel becoming a possibility again, everyone could use the best travel accessories to take with them. Explore Away's full range of all things travel and start your 100 day trial today by going to awaytravel.com slash wild. That's awaytravel.com slash wild and give the gift that's on everyone's mind. Getting your daily vitamins is extremely important and that's why we love how easy Ritual makes it with their Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin. The Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin is formulated with the nutrients to help support brain health, bone health, blood health, a lot of health's in there, and also provide antioxidant support. Put your mind at ease by taking a multivitamin that gives you the nutrients that you need. Over 97% of women aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D from their diet. And 95% are not getting their recommended daily intake of key omega-3. 100% of them probably don't know that either. I, 100% of them, I know. Well, I, I think about like how infrequently I go outside and I know, I know before ritual, I was not getting enough vitamin D. No, you were D. not. Knowing that I might not be getting everything I need out of just my diet is concerning. And that's where Ritual's multivitamin steps in. I've been taking the multivitamin for like two, two and a half months now. And I can already tell the difference in my body. It's like one of those vitamins too that don't mess up my stomach because I got a sense stomach. And I feel like it's pretty common for me, but this has been so good. Ritual invested in the gold standard university led clinical trial to prove the impact of multivitamins. And it was shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in 12 weeks. The proof is in the pudding people. Well, it's actually in the vitamins. It's actually in the vitamins. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's okay. no pudding here. I love they pudding should, what, what are they made? Pudding. Pudding vitamins. Wow. Okay. Ritual. 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 We hear you. <laughs> 2022. We see you. Come on. <laughs> Right now, Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash WT9 and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off ritual.com slash WT9. Well, how do we get here again? Uh, places that we want to travel to. <laughs> yeah. The box. Um, Thailand. Okay. You, how, do you do we go, Thailand? how do we go from Thailand to the back to the box in London? I don't know how this happened. I would love to go to Thailand. I would love, 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 oh, love. Oh, ping pong, ping pong. Ping pong. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are. wait, you did go to a ping pong thing in Thailand. Yeah. That's right. Cause I thought we were, my, my ex and I thought we were going to a, a ping pong bar. tournament. It was not a ping pong bar. It wasn't a ping pong tournament. It was, it was more, well, it was closer to the I box. I could tell, like I said, when we got there and the uh, person who walked up to the guy who was driving and uh, handed him some money for mm -hmm. dropping off right. two Americans. The Americans. I go. <laughs> We're not going to Big Bang. We're not going to Big Bang. We messed up. That's when I knew I messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Good experience, bad experience. Great experience. Okay. Weird, but great experience. Okay. And you live to tell, talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, we walked in and the person who sat us down for beers or whatever, uh -huh. immediately um, started commenting on how pretty I was and then took oh. her, one of her boobs out and told <gasps> my ex fiance to hold it in her hand. Um, hold the boob? Yeah. Okay. That was the start. That's a lot and of mixed we signals. Like, I love that for you. It was weird. That, that's, that, that is an entrance. That is an entrance. What? You don't forget that one. No, you don't forget that one. That is a lasting memory. I hope that I remember to write a Yelp review because it's five out of five stars. Um, Yeah, I would love to go to Thailand. Um, I've heard so many beautiful things. I know that it is affordable to like eat, drink, stay. 
Oh, you're a king there. Yeah. Yeah. Bot, I believe is the currency. Bot? Yeah. I, I would love to go to Thailand. Yeah. Uh, the, I, we just have to, we don't get very good um, rates in taxis there, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. White boy. Okay. Tall white boy. Well. Tall white boy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Number eight, Germany. Less interest than the others on the list. Less interest, but I think it's only because I don't know much about it. I had six years of German. Yeah, I'm sorry, say that one more time. I took two years of German. I think you said six years of German. Okay, give me something in German. What's yes? Uh, you don't know what yes is? No. Nah. Yes or no? Nah. Wait, no, is it, no, it's no. no. What's nine? That's no. <laughs> Wait, nine. Uh, Isn't that, yeah, that's no, right? Nine? Yeah. I couldn't tell you one thing. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. I'm gonna teach you some German right now. Good morning. It's good morning. Tag. It's going really well. It's yeah. going really well so far, yeah. Um, let's see, I think blue is still the color blue. Okay, ready? Or no, it's not. I think ball is ball. Ich heiße Jeremy. Hi. Ich heiße Jeremy. Ich heiße Jeremy. Ich heiße? Ich heiße Jeremy. My name is Jeremy. My name is Jeremy. I got that one. Ich heiße Jeremy. Ich he oh God. Ich heiße Jeremy. I don't. <laughs> Maybe that's the end of Spanish lessons. Yeah. Um, if you sp did I say Spanish lessons? Yeah, you did. It's okay. <laughs> Fuck. If you speak you. German, will you give us a um a phonetically spelled uh sentence or something that we could say next time? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling we don't have that many German listeners. And really? if we did, they aren't really excited about us after this one. Hmm, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I feel like I don't know enough about Germany. There's, but but you know, there's probably a thousand Tillys out there from that have been like. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that Berlin is in Germany. Did everyone know that? And I just didn't know that. <laughs> when I tell you that I don't know shit about geography. Do you remember the Berlin Wall? Yes. Couldn't have told you where that was. Do you remember when that was important? No. Mm. Not East Berlin. Uh-uh. He's a lot of World War II things. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about World War II. Okay. Literally Adolf nothing. Hitler. Yes. Was he? German. Yes. Yes. And? Yes. We'll get it, yeah. <laughs> That's next episode is when yeah, we, yeah. we cover World War II. Similarly to Portugal not being in Spain, Berlin still don't is in Germany. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number seven, Mexico. Love Mexico. Love Mexico. Yeah. Literally love Mexico so Mexico much. Mexico City's probably up on the list. I probably should go down to like uh, a few other new places, but mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, number six, Turkey. Turkey looks absolutely beautiful. I don't- I don't know if I have any like- I feel like I've seen like photos, like just like, literally like computer wallpaper-esque photos. Are we doing okay with Turkey right now? I don't know. That's on a list in my head that I'm like, I'm not sure we can just go back and forth from there. Hmm. Yeah. Turkey has an abundance of stunning coastlines and charming resorts. Okay. Was it not? If you're, t please tell me if there's any, tur any Tillies from Turkey's. So Turkey. Turkish Tillies. Ooh, Turkish, Turkish Tillies. Tillies. Oh, that slaps. If you're a Turkish Tilly, let us know. Please let us know. Why and where and how we should go and it's on the list. Okay, so I, actually, I would go so far to say is I want to go to any any country or place or location where Tillys are. I totally agree. Um, number five, Italy. Very interested. Very interested. You've never been, right? Nope. See, nope. I I've been up and down Italy pretty extensively. I love it. I think it's great. How how did you go to Italy so much? Again? I sang. Oh yeah, yeah. With who for what? Something in college. Oh, for something in college. Yeah, okay, like got I went it. to Milan. I went to Venice. Fun. I went to Bologna. I went. Did you to get time Florence, to like tour things too Rome. when you're doing it? Yeah. Oh, that's and so we, fun. Cause when the, actually when the tour was over, I think I did another two weeks as well there. Oh, that's when you did the um, hostels and stuff like that, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. There's something about like, just broke traveling. That's just like, eh, we'll figure it out when we get there. And if we don't want to do that, we'll just do something else. Yeah. But you have to have the right crew for that. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's gotta have the right group. Not the right crew. I am crew. not the right You're group. You're not the right I'm group not involved in the right group. You are the, where do they have a Four Seasons that yes. we can book ahead of time? Yes. Yeah. Do I have to share a bathroom? Even yes. with me. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, but Italy, I'd love to go. I'd love to go so much. Uh, number four, China, 63 million tourists. Parts of China are interesting to me, but like other parts, not so interesting. The Great Wall of China, famous attraction, of like, course. I would like to go to, I, I would like to go to China when I have someone who can be my tour guide. 
I totally agree. Like, yeah. a, like a friend who's there. Cause there's just so much, the problem is there's so much, um, I think bad information between America and China right now that like, I don't even know what to believe. I don't know where, totally. where, where is a good place to go to, where it's mm-hmm. not a good place to go to. Mm-hmm. And also like working for a company that has so many people in Hong Kong, I think it's so difficult to like navigate like what is actually like the reality, what's just like the the temperature today, all that stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, but I do want to go. So we need the we need the insider friend. We do. We need we the do. insider friend yeah. to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you think they have bathrooms in the Great Wall of China? I would say that they've figured out how to add plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't think it was. An, I don't know if that was necessarily an original. Um, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Why but, is that your concern? Well, it just like if you were to go see it, like you could walk, you know, miles on it, and then like, do you like you know where do you go pee? Okay. Uh, comment below. Valid question, you know? Has anyone peed close to the wall like, of China? No yeah. one's gonna, no one's gonna uh, like vandalize the Great Wall of China with their butt. No, I think people probably have done that exact thing. That's that's so disrespectful. It's gross. It's so disrespectful. It's gross. Uh, number three, you are correct, United States. Really? Yeah. I just fucking guessed that? 80 million tourists. Congrats. Congrats to us. What's the one place in America that you haven't been that you wanna go to? Oh, uh, fucking all of it. I haven't, I've barely done the US. Okay, well, what's the place that you wanna go to? Um, I want to spend some time in, I would like to go to Jackson Hole. <laughs> okay. I would like- Lordy, I was getting rich. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy, I was getting old money rich. No, I want to go to all like, the- Jackson Hole. What's the other, um, the other ski place that is super popular? Uh, Aspen? Aspen, I want to go to Aspen. I'd love to go. <laughs> Remy's going to Aspen and I'm so jealous. That was Jackson Hole and Aspen. Aspen. Yeah, just two places that are just. <laughs> I just want to go do the cool snowboard places. Yeah, totally. So I would like to but go. But half the places in Aspen, you can't even snowboard. You have to ski. Oh, that's fucking, I don't want to go to Aspen anymore. Okay, well. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. Um, I'd also like to spend some time in, uh, where else, where else, where else? Man, there's just some, I feel like I should look at the, the, the map I think again. you said enough for America. We can move on. No, I want to go to more places. Okay. I'd love to go back to Vermont. Vermont was super pretty. Vermont? Yeah, Vermont was super pretty last, last time I was there. Oh, I think I'm good on Vermont. You don't want to go to Vermont? I mean, it's fine. But like, okay. I, there's not any like, I've been to Vermont. There's not much that I need to go. I loved Arizona. I'd love to go to DC eventually. <laughs> I've never been. Really? Yeah. I'm good on that. Okay. Um, Is Salt Lake City supposed to be really nice? Yeah. 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 I feel like I, I'd like Salt Lake Silly, City, Silly, Salt, Salt, Salt Lake, Lake Silly. Silly. Um, mm, Puerto Rico for six months in a day. Mm, six months in a day. Yeah, let's fucking go. That sounds good. Good. So right, Logan Paul esque shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's so many amazing places. I just don't know anything about anything in this United yeah, States. That's all right. We'll. I'll take you there eventually. Okay. Next. Next. Um. Okay. Actually, here we go. So. Uh, uh, tourism generated uh, $1.6 trillion in economic output, cities such as LA, uh, no, sorry, cities such as New York, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas experience high numbers of tourists all year round with New York being the most visited city in the country. I believe that. Um, okay, number two, Spain. Portugal. Spain, Portugal. <laughs> Yes. I definitely would go to Spain, definitely. It looks beautiful. I mean, even the photo they've chosen for this article is But like, stunning. I would need, I need a week or two minimum. Cause I would want to go to like Barcelona. And I'd also want to go to like Ibiza. I'd also want to go, like, I'd, mm-hmm. have, I'd need like time. I feel like once you're over there too, like, you can just like go from- So much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ugh, I would love to do all of that. Okay. Ugh, I'm like, when are we going to be able to do all this? What do you mean? When can we do all this? I'm trying to retire in like four years and we'll do it then. Four years? Yeah. All right. Sounds great. 2026 okay. is the goal. 2026? Yeah. All right, Spain, here we come, 2026. No, we're going to Spain before then. Oh, I thought you said when we when you retire. But I like, when I'd like to, let's be clear, I'm not really retiring, but I would like to be able to like <laughs> have, do all now this shit. Now not relatable. <laughs> Whatever, next. And last but not least, number one, France, 89 million tourists. France. France. You've been to France. Yeah, I've been to France. Yeah. I've been to Paris twice. Do you want to go to Paris again? I'd love to go to Paris again. I think Paris is one of the most like, just good looking cities like in the world. Like they, the difference between Paris and LA is like all the people who were planning out the city got on the same page (laughs) before they were, you know, like began building things. Cause LA is just one big hodgepodge of just like, how the fuck did you guys think that these two things this were a good gonna idea work. for the same block. Yes, we were just right. talking today about how like we were trying to get to one part of the city from where we live, and your options for a freeway for freeways are just like this giant square that you have to go either like 
west and south or south and then wait, wait, west and then south. Oh yeah, or south and then west and then north and it's a whole thing. Like you're you're stuck in the square. Like you're you're confined by the square freeways and it's brutal. It's horrible. It's not great. It's not good. But there's some they missed out on some big ones. What Amsterdam, Croatia, Greece. Yeah. There's some bangers that they just completely left off. Um, I feel like uh, since your love for um, consistent, predictable- <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> control friendly travel is like um, <clears throat> your MO. Uh, you've got to tell me about, there has to be a time that you've had a nightmare story on travel. I mean, most recently our fucking New York trip. That wasn't that bad. That was a nightmare. It was a nightmare, but like we did it together. We did it together. It was a logistical nightmare of logistic, time yeah. wasting. Like yeah. I, everything else was fine. It was just a nightmare, like day of a wasted time. Yeah. Um. So that that was a, that was a full ass day nightmare. of wasted time. It was like two, two days, two or three days. Yeah. Of wasted oh my time. god, that was the worst. Yeah. Great trip, but yeah. that was the the worst travel day. I've never had more travel related issues. Woes. Yeah. Woes yeah. in terms of like logistics like that. I, yeah. Brutal. Um. Two come to mind. One of them was, I was coming back from Paris actually. And I, uh, we paid for business class flights. So uh -huh. like lay down, sleep, whatever. And I don't know where I picked this up, but I got off of that flight covered in bites. It was so weird. So I don't know if the hotel that we stayed at for whatever reason, we did an Airbnb, but it was like beautiful. Like it was a stunning Airbnb. So yeah, like, but who knows who came in before and after you? Yeah, No, totally. And so like, I don't know, but I, I didn't have any bites until literally on the plane they showed up. Uh, so I don't know if it was just like happened to be like in the blanket that I got or something uh, on the plane, but also like really nice airline, like business class. Like it was not a cheap flight whatsoever. So anyway, I got off the plane and I was covered in bites. It was fucking so, weird. but it was so weird because it wasn't a mosquito bite because like mosquito bites are a little bit raised. These were just like massive red spots. That's disgusting. covered, covered. I was covered like my legs, my butt, the backs of my arms, my neck, my like everything. You were just being bit, but you didn't remember being like feeling No, like no, no, no. And like maybe I was knocked out or something sleeping. Was there anybody else that got covered too or no? No, no it was just, just me, just me. But also Ooh. like when you're in business class sleeping, like you're just in your own little little, right. little pot or whatever. So like uh, that makes sense. It was so weird. I don't weird. like it, I don't like and it. And so I, I went to like the doctor it. and they were like, yeah, like I don't entirely, it might be like something spider related. He's like, it's obviously not mosquito. And he's like, if they're not, if they're not hurting you, he's like, you're okay. Like I don't have to give you anything. And he That's was like- fucking gross. It was so nasty. But honestly, it was more just like confused than anything. Okay. So that was a really fun horror story. Um, and then, you know, what was weird too, is that they got, they got bigger. Like I got off the plane and I was covered in like little bites. And then over the next like week, they started getting bigger. That's when I went to the doctor. Cause I was like, obviously I'm dying. Like obviously I'm on my you're Yeah, you're dying. You looked up at Web, WebMD and yeah. it was like, oh. Spreading and red dying. bites dying. Death. Yes, death. It Impending death. doom. Impending doom, yeah. right, exactly. It's the only thing that made sense. Um, and they eventually went away. But so that was that was not that long ago. The worst travel story that comes to mind, and every bro college kid can remember this, is I remember one time I returned from a flight. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where I was, but I remember I came back and I got to my car and I realized that I had accidentally parked in the, cause like in airports, they have like the long-term parking yep. and there's like the general parking. Mm -hmm. And I had accidentally parked in the general lot for like 10 days. <gasps> Oh my God, so like what, 40 bucks a day or something? Something like that. Yeah, and like yeah, I had yeah. no money, I right. was broke. Yeah. And I remember getting to the end and like, I didn't have enough money in any one of my accounts <laughs> to figure it out. So I had to like pull off to the side and figure out how I was gonna get the fuck out of a parking garage. Oh my God, to even go home. Yeah, <gasps> I think I found actually a way to talk my way out of it. Oh yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I had to like pay later or something like that, but like- That's one of those times bad. where like a credit card is like your saving grace. Not to like, not financial advice to like get yourself out with debt, but like that's one of those things where it's like- Yeah, I, I genuinely don't really remember like how it yeah. worked, but I remember like getting there going, oh, I, I'm at the mercy of somebody else right now because right. I don't have enough money to right, get right. out of this parking You'd garage. You'd have to like- pay for an Uber to go home, to figure it out, to then come back to an even more expensive situation. But I was situation. like two and a half hours away from where I lived. Like I flew somewhere. Right. And then right, drove. And had another two hours. Yeah, 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 so yeah, there yeah. was no- oh, So you needed the car. I needed the car. You needed the car. Yeah, I needed that car together. Right. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't it. good. It wasn't good at all. Oh my God. I had another uh, situation where I went to Bora Bora mm. and it was the four seasons Are you about there. to say a bad story or a bad like yes. experience with yes. Bora Bora? It was the last day. I, and when I, I gotta, gotta be honest, like this was the most incredible trip I've ever been on. Like it was beautiful. It's weird cause I didn't, I don't remember that trip really. Huh. Huh. I mean, huh. That's crazy. Not the company, I mean the company, I mean like the yeah. atmosphere. Ah, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the of atmosphere. Of course, my love. The price tag, also not amazing. Ah, 
Um, but Bora Bora itself is fucking, ins- it's stunning. It's stunning. Like t- those overwater huts are exactly what they look like they're going to be when you see them on a desktop screen. It's not like the, you get there and you go, this you're like, was this isn't Photoshop did a nice job here. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it. insane. Like it's unreal. Like you get there and you're like, how does a place exist on this earth when like you've seen shitty hometowns and stuff. You know what I mean? Like it just, when I think about like my hometown and like thinking about it, like being bleak and cold and dark. And I think oh, about like we, Bora Bora. I'm like, how do these exist on the same earth? When we start driving towards Rockford in two days, three yes. days from now, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to go, I'll tell you right now, this is a choice. This is the choice <laughs> and a choice that I don't want to, I, I refuse <laughs> to no. make. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so I mean, like great trip. The Four Seasons, obviously fucking stunning. Uh, luckiest. This is bitch. not a Four Seasons ad. No, 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 this is the, this is kind of comes off as an anti-ad actually, to be honest. Um, So anyway, the last day, our flight- Hashtag Thermidor. Yeah, hashtag fucking Thermidor, fuck you Thermidor. Um, (laughs) It just never ends. (laughs) The last day- Our dishwasher's broken right now, so yeah. No, I fixed it, I fixed it. You fixed it? Yeah, I fixed it. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't have to fix it because it's not that old, but- Handy. (laughs) Anyway. Last day we had a late flight. And so we, yeah, you had to be at the room at like, I don't know, like 10 or 11 or whatever, but they let you like hang by the pool and then check your luggage. So I think our flight was like, maybe not until like six or seven. So we had like basically an entire day there to like hang out. And there was a few other couples uh, that were also like in the pool, just hanging out. Cause we were all on the same like flight. Cause you right. like take a boat back and then to the airport and it's like whole different like legs of the travel. And um, so we were just hanging out in the pool for the whole day, just hanging out, drinking, eating, whatever. And I don't know exactly why this happened on the last day versus the other days, because like I might've stayed in the pool an hour or two longer, but it wasn't anything that was outside of what I'd already been doing at right. this resort. And um, so whatever we spend the day and then they have like the change rooms to go like shower and stuff before you get your shit out of like, you know, the hotel where they like let you store stuff. Right. And I'm in the shower and um, I'm washing my hair and I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck? I was like, this shampoo is green. I was like, that's so weird. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, it's not washing out. And I was like, oh my God, my, oh my God, my hair is green. My hair is green. I feel like that's like a thing you like hear about. You hear about this happening. You literally hear about this happening to people with like their blonde turning green in swimming pools. But here I am at like one of the nicest resorts in the entire world at Four Seasons in Bora Bora. And I'm like, there's no fucking chance that the Bora Bora Four Seasons turn my hair green. Like there's just like, how, how does this happen? It turned, like, it turned green, didn't it? it oh, oh my God, my hair was green. Like I would say 70% of my hair was green. So I'm my, so glad that I was not there to, to have to listen to how green your hair was for 40, oh 47 hours my on the God. way home. What I will say is that this was near the era of Kylie Jenner having that like similar kind of green hair. So it wasn't okay. like the worst time in the world to have it. It was like- You, you know, well-timed like, it. Tumblr-esque, yeah, yeah, that was like the more ideal time for sure than to have it now because as now it would not be like as, as relevant. Um, and I, okay, yeah, okay. I definitely, I definitely got some like people like, oh, it's like actually kind of cute. And I was like, motherfucker, I swear to God, if you lie to me one more time to my face that my my aqua green hair is cute, I will. I was so mad. And then the next day was Remy's yacht party. And oh. so I called my hair girl and I was like, hi. I was like, I know that I obviously can't come see you today or tomorrow. Like, obviously I know that that's not realistic. I'm shocked you didn't like pay for somebody else's haircut and then also get yours done. To like kick them yeah. out of the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. no. And I was like, what? Like, what are my options right now? And so I got home, washed my hair in the shower again. Obviously nothing changes, you know, you're hoping for a miracle. And so under her uh, advice, I had to soak my hair in tomato juice for like four hours. Did it work? Yeah, it did. Really? Yeah, it completely, it it neutralizes the, the, yes. Yes, it neutralizes it. There's like very few smells that I want to smell for four hours. And that's definitely not one of them. Not one of them. Now there was a lot, there was a long period afterwards where I couldn't even like go near like a tomato sauce of any kind. How about ketchup? You know, no, 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 no ketchup, ketchup, no like red spaghetti sauces. You're, uh, if I know, and I do know how plain our shit is usually, yeah, your shit was particularly plain the next oh two or three Oh my weeks. God, yeah, it was not good. It was not good. And so it ended up working. But like, I remember in the shower, the moment of being like, oh, this is a weird color shampoo to me. And like, holy fuck, no, this is on my head. Like, this is attached to me. Like, this is me. This is who I'm meant to be. This is- <laughs> But I feel like you, um, you experimented with pink colored hair. Yeah, but it's different when you go out and buy some Arctic Fox and go put it in your hair strategically. It is different when you buy the Arctic Fox. It's different when you buy the Arctic Fox. So I think something happened where, so here's what I think happened. I think it was a combination of obviously the chlorine in the pool, right? me being in the pool for a long time, right? and me floating in the pool with my hair wet and the sun cooking. 
I'm mm. thinking, I don't know, maybe, it, I don't know if I need a, a chemistry major to tell me if these those are like the, the ingredients to, to make a concoction like that happen. But I, you just hear about it There's so often. There's some shit that I'll never have to worry about. Yeah, it must be nice. If my hair turns colored because of some chlorine, that, that was some fucked up. We, we had some, we had some yeah. major problems. Yeah. And now I'm scared. Now I'm like scarred. I, Cause I just, I'm scarred. And so now I keep my hair up always in the pool. And I obviously I'll like go wander if I need to, but like I'm, I have green hair. That's why you scream at me every time I throw you in the pool. Yeah. yeah. And also if it's not hair washing day, I don't want to get my fucking hair wet. Oh, there's that. Yeah. I was just explaining to my boxing coach about like how working out needs to be timed around like your hair washing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a- And how did, how did your bald boxing coach respond to that? No, he gets it. His girlfriend, I guess is similar. I was gonna say, he's, he's yeah. actually pretty empathetic for-, for Oh, no, that. no, totally, totally. Yeah. He gets it. Like he'll be like, oh no, let's not do this. I don't want you to break a nail. <laughs> yeah, probably the most LA shit I've ever heard. That is that <laughs> yeah. shit. Um, we forgot to talk about how much we went to go to Latvia, but I feel like that's almost understood. Oh my God. Yeah, that's understood. Understood. Yeah, not that's a given. It it's an bring absolute it up. given. Um, we've got some guests coming up. We've got some guests coming up. we got some Christmas things coming up. Christmas things coming up. If you haven't got a sweater, what are you waiting on? Get a sweater. Now's a great time for they all go on. And also too, like the, the closer you get to Christmas, the less likely it is to come for Christmas. So order up. So order up. Shop at welton9.com. Shop till why not? I, I didn't even realize that my merch store is currently down as I'm switching merch people. Someone was mm. like, why can't I get a tie-dye kit? And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm, I, I, you should, you can. And I was like, oh no, no, you no, can't. you can't. You can't. So I think one, we sold out. And two, I think I didn't realize my merch store was fully down. So shop at welton9.com. Oops. The only promo that I got for you, except for stream HBO Max on- uh, And su hit subscribe. Stream HBO Max. And hit stream subscribe on YouTube. Craftopia, subscribe Max, on YouTube. Subscribe HBO, on, HBO, subscribe HBO, on, Craftopia, subscribe Craftopia. on, Subscribe Craftopia. on YouTube. <laughs> Craftopia stream on HBO Max and Crave Canada now for new episodes for the holidays. Like I said, subscribe on YouTube so we can get a Discord. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.